So this is day 21 with Wyeth, and um, I'm just doing a little bit of work uh, in the round pen with him. And now as far as the soundness goes, he's actually pretty good to the left. Um, and it's that hind left that had the abscess, but uh, going to the right, he's still really sore because that abscess is on the inside foot. Uh, inside of that foot, so um, the medial side. And so he can still be a bit tender, so I really don't ask him to trot very much that way. But I'm just playing with a little bit of body language with him. Um, he can tend to really hate the shirt that I'm wearing because I think it's got the white letters on the sleeve, so sometimes it just kind of catches attention. But working right there with um, just placing my hand... He can tend to tense up in his neck pretty good. So I was just waiting for him to relax a sec. And then you'll see I'm looking down. I've noticed he has a little bit of drainage on his jaw. Um, uh, so that can complicate some matters. Um, so... I'm not sure if it's an infected tooth or or if it's just a cut. Uh, so I'm playing with him uh, bridalist in this session just with the neck rope. Um, and again, working on getting him to send forward for when my shoulders are square to him. Get a little trot. And he's thinking about it all. So then I back away, take the pressure away. Some pressure. There's still a little bit of pressure because I'm still looking at him. There he just gets a little nervous. So I'm just going to stay right there in that bubble until he relaxes a sec. And he's pretty quick. Those neck muscles will be tense and then I can see he drops them and that's when I can go in to give him a rub. So now I'm going to introduce him to the flag. Um, because he has a possible tooth infection, I have to prepare him to have x-rays um, on his face. So this black flag actually is going to work really well because when you do an x-ray, um, the slide that they have to actually take the x-ray on has to go right next to their head. So... Uh, this is very important work to make sure that uh, <laughs> when I get the vet back out, I can diagnose if uh, that's the case. So I'd just been noticing he he was just getting a little sensitive on his face about some things sometimes. And he, he tended to be a cuddly horse and um, that started to go away. And I noticed this drainage on his jaw and it kind of... Um, smells a little stinky, like a little plaque. It's kind of gross. Um, but right now, going to put him on antibiotics and hope that it's just an infected little cut or something simple. Because um, if it's a tooth, that can be complicated with him being so young. He's got a little bit of a bite there, so give him a second. Now he's letting me touch with the flag. A little higher on his face. I'm just going to wait here for a minute. Let me take a deep breath. Again, just kind of working it just around his face a little bit. And that was really good. There was a deep breath, so I uh, backed away just to give him more of a minute. Now I'm going to inch it down the side. <laughs> Funny how in the beginning the right side was really the guarded side, but now he... 
he almost prefers me on the right side. So that's fine. We'll start. That kind of made him a little uncomfortable. So I'm going to go back to where he's still and then take the pressure away. So he doesn't learn that if he jerks his head. I understand he was uncomfortable with it, but I want to make sure I can take him back to the spot where he is quiet and then give him the release. He actually thought about that for quite a bit. And I'm making sure I just am going slow, introducing it in the beginning. And again, he wants to get just a little fussy right there. But then the minute he kind of stopped is when I took it away. Just giving him another moment. And then, of course, he's having to deal with it being just a little windy. So that flag kind of. Goes not always where I want it to go, but that was a really nice reaction. Now over on to the left side. So I, I'm going back and forth, side to side, starting to introduce him to the sight of it first, to the touch of it, and then to the sound of it. So that was pretty good. Take the pressure away. Now I, he's got a little bit of a bubble right there, so I know I can um, just kind of flick the flag. There, that was a good boy. So where he has his confidence is where he can start to stiff it and towards his face. So I try to start there and then do kind of like a little reset. So now I'm increasing with the sound. Now I'm going to ask him to follow it. So you can um, create the curiosity and the confidence by having them follow instead of it, you know, chasing them. <laughs> so I like to get him to follow it. And anytime I kind of am adding pressure as far as the sound and the noise, um, trying to make sure my body's at 45 degree. Again, that was good. He really is thinking that through right there. So give him a little bit of time. He actually needed quite a bit because you can see he's licking and chewing for a little bit. So, um, and then he took a deep breath. So I even walked away even further because that was really good. So now I'm increasing the sound a bit. Just letting me touch. That was really good. Letting it go down to his leg. Moving to the other side. Just with the sound. Again, so the, the flag can sometimes have fear associated with it because in the beginning there they're in fact flagged when they're in holding to get them to move. Uh, so the fact that he is pretty good at holding his ground, that's again where him and Eton are very different. So he's kind of willing to kind of hold his ground and assess it and, and go to things, which is helpful for me versus just run away from it. So and I'm just trying to help teach him how he can kind of think through some things how to position his body and to work on getting the body to relax. So there's just some very subtle things sometimes that I'm looking for. Um, sometimes that you can't even see in the video, but uh, it'll be kind of when his neck is tight, I'm looking for that lower part of his neck to just relax. And again here, I'm increasing the sound. And he chooses to move from it, but I'm going to keep my body here to see if I can get that draw a little bit. 
was pretty good. Again, I tried to make sure that time my body was uh, not square and I was at the 45 the whole time. And then making sure that I'm breathing. And I'm just trying to take a peek at his jaw here. So kind of the first uh, course of action will be to put him on some antibiotics. And um, poor guy just has had kind of a rough go with the in abscess in his foot. And now possibly um, pretty good infection in his jaw. So all things considered, I'm really happy with how he's handling this. And this is all prepping him for having the vet come for with the x-rays. So um, the safer I can get him for both of us, the hopefully sooner I can get him on the right track to clean bill of health. Right here, he's handling himself really well with the increased sound. There, he kind of just dropped the lower part of his neck just a smidge, so I wanted to make sure I released. Same there. Making sure I give him the time. Sometimes I can, uh, a mistake I can make is not giving enough release. So I think it's important to make sure that they have enough release sometimes. Going back to his face. He's gotten pretty good. He lets the flag kind of go from either side. And I'm really happy with how he handled that. And found that to be a great stopping point. 